YouTube is Brian Phillips coming to you with something completely different off the wall a little bit off the wall for everybody including me um, we have a tree that wants to fall and it's scaring me I want to cut it down but uh, unfortunately the branch that the branch one right that there sits over my head while I'm down there trying to prep it to fall down is just making me nervous and in the wind today we have heard a lot of popping and we're thinking it's probably gonna fall, but we're just gonna go ahead and head that off right now and finish off the job properly. So wait and you shall see. All right, so guys, just to be clear, we are currently planting 75 new trees and 25 new bushes, and we'll probably get another 100 at the beginning of spring. So just to prove it to you, we have stakes all over the place and we have two of the new trees planted over there. So I, I know what you're thinking, I don't hate trees. <laughs> I, I don't hate them, but when they are threatening uh, other trees, then I have to take action. So in this case, this tree's dead. We waited all season and we thought, oh, surely it will come back. It didn't. So I cut some wedges. Let's show them the wedges. We cut some wedges and uh, yeah, it's, it's go to the other side so they can kind of see the angle. They uh, haven't worked yet, <laughs> mostly because I haven't pushed the issue. We've been clearing underbrush and trying to make this yard more beautiful. And uh, it's, it's working, but this branch here is what scares the crap out of me. So we're gonna see if we can take the rest of this tree down right now. There's a safe backdrop here. Everything's legal but we're gonna get back a little bit. You good? Yep. Hasn't fallen yet. <laughs> so we'll come back uh, 30 rounds at a time, guys. So we'll probably go ahead and assess the situation now that we have the first 30 rounds through it. 223 ammo is a pretty small bullet, 22 caliber. So it's about a quarter inch round not very big and there's a little bit of meat left I plunge cut the second cut because I was scared to cut it all the way through and uh, we've heard popping so we'll see what happens Sixty rounds down. This is going to be expensive. There's definitely holes there, and it's popping like crazy. We'll see. Cut. gonna take a while yeah I have my budget of ammo I have one two three four more of these and then I'm not wasting any more money on it <laughs> until I get something bigger <laughs> great so you can pause it while I'm switching you ready mm -hmm.
Still hasn't fallen. <laughs> I want to rotate my angle a little bit. Okay. You can zoom in. Hey, be careful. You're still kind of in the danger zone there. Okay. You ready to go again? Yep. Still not there, but I can see a lot of chunks coming out. Mm -hmm. You hear that? I heard something pop, I thought. Trees hitting each other? Probably. We're down to the last, the last budgetary <laughs> bullets. Budget's blown. No more, no more ammo in this tree felling budget. We're gonna have to see. We're gonna have to see what happens here, guys. That thing sounds like it's gonna come down, like right now. But I particularly don't want it to come down on my head or my wife's head, which is why we're going to such strange and extreme measures. <laughs> so hopefully, as soon as we hit stop, it doesn't come down. But we'll hit start really quick yep. if it does. In fact, I heard a pop. So. We'll see. Okay, so we're actually out for today. Our sunlight is gone. We'd really hope to have that thing fall. It could fall overnight, which would be honestly fine too, provided it doesn't fall and like take out a bunch of trees. But we'll try it again tomorrow or when we have appropriate lighting conditions. Okay guys, this is after 237 rounds. He's digging holes. It's just scary still. You can see it's really cutting into it. And you can see some of the bullets in there. There's one of them right there. See my problem? I got nowhere to stand. And then look at that. So I guess for now, that's crazy. It's cold. Full metal jacket. Boat tail. And uh, you can see there's holes in there where the rounds have been shooting through. 
And I mean, it's like made made a lot of damage, but I just don't particularly want to be around it too much. You can see here where this stuff has been knocked off. That's pretty weak, though. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. Sorry you didn't get a better show. Hopefully we'll have a show to give you tomorrow or when the light gets better. We will win tree, <laughs> dead tree. And we're gonna introduce you to our newest additions to the trees. Those aren't gonna be new trees, those are discharges. They're marked so when I'm mowing I can see them. Here's the first one. It's so beautiful. It's a red oak. And then there's another one right over here. We're just kind of trying to make them look kind of natural. And so there's going to be a few that will do better than others. But they are pretty little trees. They're just very little. You can see the hose there for size comparison. Alright, that's all you get. As you can see, we have some beautiful snow falling. <laughs> I agree, it's not. That's about it for now. We'll try to give you some awesome footage of that thing coming down pretty quick. It's a whole new day, YouTube. We're back with some different rounds, three and a quarter inch. Uh, these are rifled slugs, which you use in a, just a smooth barrel shotgun. So my shotgun's only got an 18 and a half inch barrel. So again, fully legal. And we're gonna try to finish taking this tree down. It did not fall. It's a lot less windy today. And we still have a bunch of trees to plant. So. We gotta get this done. Hopefully the chickens run away. Don't <laughs> so get squished by the tree. <laughs> Safety first. It's still standing, folks, but there's some big old chunks coming out of there. So we'll reload and come right back. Tell me when. Go ahead. Man, just beat the crap out of my arm. Okay. That tree is getting screwed up. <laughs> Okay, so my wife is going to take the shot. We hope the tree goes. All right, when you're ready, hon. Hold on, safety. Ready? Go ahead. Yep. <laughs> it hurts, doesn't it? Family channel. Yeah. Okay, hit hit that tree so we can see it blown up some. You have to chamber it again, Donna. Huh? You have to chamber it again? Yeah. It's not semi-automatic. I know, I forget. Okay. Are you, have you had enough? <laughs> yeah. Every time you get an empty chamber in there, it just like gets you all excited thinking it's the the tree. Here's our chickens running to safety. <laughs> They're like, what's wrong with these idiots? We're trying to save your lives, chickens. Okay, all right. All right. We're going back to the work. Back to work. Yeah, we're gonna try hitting from a little bit different angle here for a minute. We'll see if we can get this thing to fall over. Ooh. 
Okay. So we're down to, we have four rounds left in the first 30 rounds. <laughs> um, so far with 237 rounds yesterday, plus what we've done today, 237 yesterday um, ends up being about $40 worth of ammo. And then this will be, if I shoot all five boxes, it'll be another $56 worth of ammo. So we'll end up spending a little bit over $100 to take this tree down, plus the fuel to run the chainsaw. And nobody had to die except for the tree. It was already, it was dead. already dead. It was already dead. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll get set and go again. Give me a sec. Is this tree still alive? <laughs> Don't get it. Woo! Barrel's getting hot. So guys, if you're thinking about doing this at home, yes, the answer is we have shot down trees before, but it was only after repeated shooting for years. This is more of like a planned thing. So we may have to stroll down to the tree and show the people the damage. Okay, okay guys. This is doing quite a number on this tree. It's taking some big chunks out. The ones down here are probably the ones I hit where I missed. <laughs> There's not much to that tree though. We will see. Are you? I don't understand. How could this tree still be together? Probably because it's got a lot of a lot of wood. <laughs> okay, we'll come back. Hold on. Okay. Okay. That's three boxes, which means 15 times three. Oh, my cheek and my shoulder both hurt pretty good. My wife shot, how many did you shoot? Two. Two, two and she's probably also sore. <laughs> so normally it's a little more fun shooting like this, but uh, we have a purpose. So guys, oh man, there's such a big hole there. I know. It's like where I'm cutting, there's basically a cut at an angle and the wedge is out. And then on the other side, the cut is up above it because I want it to fall that way. Um, but it's going to be tough without anything pulling it. So hopefully the middle, the meat of the tree will help pull it over. So I'm aiming for this outside edge and you can see it's chewed up. Looks like a shark attacked it, mm -hmm. except it was a 12 gauge. <laughs> so this is starting to kind of hurt my shoulder and we're losing light. Like it's like hurts. So <laughs> I hope I don't have to go to the hospital when we're done with this. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and load the last, I got three more rounds here. And then we're basically down to the last box of 15 rounds, which Jeez. is crazy. So my wife is rolling her eyes big time <laughs> now. But I still have a backup plan if this doesn't work. And it'll even be more awesome. So we'll try to get this to go. Ah, <laughs> every time you hear anything, you think it's it. Nope. Okay, guys, 
one very short shoulder, 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 sore, and shoulder. sore wallet. <laughs> yeah. Tree wins again, but we will be the victors. YouTube, it's Brian Phillips still. <laughs> we had a small interruption where we had to plant 100 trees while we were trying to take this SOB down, which stands for son of a birch, except it's not a birch, <laughs> in case you kids are watching. And uh, so I'm gonna try the old trusty ax, okay? This is nothing special. It's, it's only like a pound and a half, which is not very big, as you can see. It's got a nice handle on it, but the reason I want to use this is because I can hear and it doesn't hurt my shoulder quite as much as shooting the shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't make fun of my Walmart bags on my feet. Get over I was going to miss those. So I, I'm just going to show you real quick. What I'm doing is I'm cleaning up the hole. And as, as I've been doing it, you'll never guess what I found. So <laughs> like just a million. in case you're ever trying to shoot down a tree, um, Every once in a while, you'll run into a rifled slug <laughs> or like uh, 223 round of some sort. So, probably lead poison the pond, creek, I mean. But here goes nothing, guys. We're gonna pause it. I'm gonna get down there, take a couple cracks at it, and then uh, we'll pan so you can see where the trees ended up. Okay. All right, guys, so I've cleaned up this area here. As you can see, the ax head fits through it. That meat was there before, now it's not. Not very good with an axe, you may have noticed. <laughs> but at least an axe, it's quiet so you can hear the popping of the wood. And if I didn't already make it clear, the escape path is up a slippery hill and nothing here, nothing here except for a fall about eight feet, maybe six feet. And then here's just a bunch of scrap wood. So that's why we're doing this guys. It's leaning away from him, though, onto these other trees that are on the other side of our creek. It was supposed to cut and pull that way, and slide down and go that way, between this big gap, but... Probably not. I'm uh, evidently not very good lumberjack. That was a chicken. Oh, I heard a squeak. <laughs> oh, I almost got it. Not left handed. Just listening. Neighbor shooting. Man, there's a lot of meat out of there. Mm-hmm. So, basically, that's where we are. We're gonna probably just keep doing this for a little while. And, uh, I don't wanna miss it, so here goes on. Also, I'm standing on Loose branches. The chickens are trying to steal the show back there. They are. Yeah. I think that was stuff falling. Yeah. Whoa. Man, every once in a while I hit and there's just nothing there. I don't want to hit from this side because that's going to take my whole strap which is supposed to help pull it over that way but it's just really tough because I don't have a good spot to stand this is about the best angle I can get
Okay, we'll pause it for a minute. Okay, guys, I need another break. It's hard work doing this. A lot more hard than using a chainsaw, but a lot less quiet, or excuse me, a lot quieter. The camera crew is going to show you where we planted trees, and she's going to talk about that for a minute while I keep beating the dead horse here. <laughs> we just um, this afternoon put out these little pink flags that they use, like, to mark for electrical. So you can see here's some over here. Um, so this is our property. So we went all the way down. And we have um, red oak, pin oak, river birch, and then we have elderberry bushes, which will give us elderberries. Um, and so we planted those in clumps so that, like, the kids can go out and pick berries. Um, I don't know if I can see a clump of them from here. I know there's some that are down here on the other side of our creek. And then we just kind of went and interspersed where we have open spots. We've been taking a lot of the honeysuckle off of our property. And so then where we've cleared out massive chunks of honeysuckle and thorn bushes, then we've gone in and tried to plant some new bushes and new trees. So we did a hundred of those last weekend and we just grabbed some of these little flags so that we can see them having slugs thrown up the hill. Um, there's a big bunch over here of the elderberries. Okay. And so we're just trying to replace, get some good trees in here. And then take out some of these. This is a tree that we lost last year um, when we had some major flooding. We had a couple that fell down and slid down into this ravine. This was the biggest one of them. And it's just in such an awkward spot. It's has not been fun to try and get down. We have a couple... You did? You yeah. talked to an arborist? Oh yeah. So, the arborist gracefully declined. What? My opportunity at his earnings. <laughs> we got a couple of the big limbs off of it um, last summer, but everything everything else is obviously too high. We thought it was going to live then. <clears throat> Some, here here. Somebody thought it was going to live. I really wanted to save this tree. Everybody was voting against it, and then eventually it did succumb to nature. Sorry, tree. Sorry, tree. We weren't on your side. You were one of my favorites. You can tell if Brian's six feet tall, we got those two limbs above him, but then that one that's going to be like right over his head, that's when we knew it was probably going to be trickier than we thought. It is so hard in the middle. It's incredibly hard. It's still, like, somewhat alive in the middle, I think. Probably. I mean, it was alive last year. Like this? Yeah. So you can see there's still something happening there. It makes it extremely difficult to cut. And it's hard. But this is going to become a bridge. So. Yep, we're going to use it. It will not go to waste. We also want most of these trees here. It's so hard to get a scale of them, but they're just crazy tall. Um, but trees don't live forever, unfortunately. So we want to have something there that's growing and ready to go. Um, so that if we, if and when we lose a big tree, we aren't starting from scratch. These trees are itty bitty. And it's crazy muddy over here. I don't know if you can see how big those trees are. They're just little. You can't even see them. They're like the size. They're a little taller than the flags. We get them from our state nursery um, as saplings. And you buy them in. You have to buy a lot of 25 of whatever kind you get. And they're like a dollar a tree. Um, so if you're looking at adding trees 
to your property and you're okay with starting small. Um, I don't know if every state has that, but where we do, where we are in the Midwest, we do. So it's a good option to get trees really, really, really inexpensively if you have the time to let them grow. And, and, an, and an auger. Yes, buy an auger and try to not do it all in like a day and a half. But where we are, you can't pick them up until the first week in November. And the first week in November where we live is gross. And no one wants to be outside planting 100 trees. Nope. At all. They don't. Okay, camera crew. Yep. Time for me to give these folks a good close up. Oh, okay. I cannot believe this stinky thing is still standing. I yielded the axe. Do you want to take a few swings at it? <laughs> Not on camera. I don't want you to take it. <laughs> I don't want you to take any swings at it. Here, hold those two. Hold on. Those are my gloves. Got them. Those are my gloves. Yay. Thank you. All right, folks. You'll immediately notice a quality difference and much worse filming quality. Yeah, I know. See my Walmart bags, guys? Don't make fun of me. Works really good. Because it's slick and muddy, and I just don't want to deal with mud all week. This is just stuff kind of falling out here. A couple of misses. This is my hand. And... I just took this off, it was kind of loose. I wanted to get rid of it. You can see there's still a pretty good amount of meat here. And this was a cut, and holding the camera as level as I can, you can see it's going downhill, and it's cut the fall there. And the meat here was supposed to hold it, and it was supposed to start this way. But once we broke out this corner, it never did, it never leaned, because look at it now, it's leaning over. And I think it's getting caught, and this is, this is the branch that scares me. And that's why I don't want to do it with a chainsaw because I won't hear it when it starts popping and hissing necessarily. Let's see if we can get you. If you guys can hear that waterfall over there. Really bad focus, sorry. It's getting dark. So this is right behind the house. Got the camera crew there. So we're going to see what we can do here. Probably be kind of a boring video. Maybe we'll edit out a bunch of the middle stuff. We've been working on clearing this stuff out. Where all these trees are. And it's looking way nicer. Sorry about the finger there, guys. That one was dead. It was a big dead log that went up like this. Maybe, should we post that video? That's a little more entertaining. It's way more entertaining. <laughs> And then just to give you an idea, my camera crew and I, that little pile over there of wood, was that two days worth? Yeah, it was a weekend. Just no, it was two days. It wasn't even a week. Well, was it a weekend? It might have been evenings when it was still coming. Yeah. So we've been trying to keep as much of it as we can for firewood. And we got a stack over there. Got stacks over here. And then another one started over the way. So, all right, guys. What do you think? Are we out of time? Okay. This has been a lot of work, but pretty soon there's going to be a finish line just around the corner and hopefully everybody lives to see it. Yeah, that would be good. It would be. All right, we're going to stop it for a minute. I think Wrangler Star would be very disappointed in me. Maybe. And also, Demolition Ranch, both. They should come help us then. <laughs> if they want to, they're welcome. <laughs> Whoever gets here first can take it down. I'm pretty sure they both got better things to do than this. I gotta get out here a little bit more.
I don't want to brace myself on the tree in case it shifts when, when it breaks free. Yeah. There's just incredible amounts of material missing. And it just doesn't seem to give a crap. Nope. It really doesn't make my left hand feel good. Well, there you have it, folks. First day, <laughs> first day about it. Well, that's the end of that. My hand hurts. I bet. Hope I didn't break my hand. I certainly broke this. Maybe that's why you don't get $19 axes. Guess I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. Better than doing this to a $30 axe or a $100 axe. That's all you get for today, YouTube. YouTube is Brian Phillips still. I got another hammer, excuse me, another axe. This one's a 3.5 pound. I think I might've said one and a half pounds on the last one. That was not correct. I think it was 2.25 pound. So two and a quarter pounds. This one's a little heavier. It's got a, it's got a, a fiberglass handle. So we're gonna see how it goes. We're gonna try to finish this stupid tree off once and for all. <laughs> it, seems, it seems to be leaning and this doesn't do it, I have another plan. We've had a couple of windy days, so hopefully what he's already been working on is helping because it's leaning on those trees across across the way more than it was even the other day. And rain. And rain, yep. It's kind of a giant mud pit down here. Mm-hmm. I can. See how deep that head goes? Yeah. It's like almost all the way in there. There's not a lot of material left in that tree. It's amazing how much or how little material will keep it up. But this tree was alive last year, so it's not like it's been dead forever and ever and ever. So this has been a learning experience for us, for sure. The thing is sharper. Well, that's good. Sharper is probably good for an axe. Can you tell me about my horrible stance here? Is yeah. Like standing on half the root structure? He's like standing on the roots from another tree. There's like one tiny little peninsula of dirt that slid down when that tree slid down. So he's kind of just like worked himself a little path. Right on the other side of the tree is a several foot drop down to our little creek. I don't know if you can hear the waterfall in the background, but there's water running down there. And then obviously it's pretty hard to get to from the other side. It's, it's super hard to tell, especially right now because everything is just brown. Um, but the creek, the creek that's down in here, where, oh, there, the creek that runs down in through here is probably about 20-ish feet down. So he's about 10 feet down and then there's probably about another 10 feet to go or so. So it's really, really awkward. He can't just like stand in any position he wants to do that. So it makes it even more awkward because really he's right-handed. So he's like really swinging kind of opposite of what he would normally want to do. And when he started working on that tree, it was still pretty much standing up. So he cut a notch 
out of the side that he's looking at right now because we wanted it to fall kind of the other way just because of other things we're working on with our property but then with the wind and all of that it's kind of going towards our like pile of stuff back here it's falling this way and we kind of wanted it to fall on this side so it's just gotten more and more awkward and it's really awkward to work down there and if he's using the chainsaw he can't hear what's happening because it's too noisy so we've gotten a lot out of it and at least with the axe he can kind of hear the tree and have time to respond as it moves so that's why we're at this point Yeah, I can see the chunks coming out of it. Trees are pretty resilient, obviously. Yeah. sounds different when you hit it. It's just so fibrous, like really carbon. Probably from shooting it like 400 times. Hmm, maybe. My concern is when it breaks, it's going to want to tip like this. Yeah. And my escape path is dependent on this remaining clear. Yep. I agree. Yeah. It doesn't look like it, but I'm having to kind of hold back on this too, huh? Oh, you are? Yeah, because I don't want to, like, knock it out. There's a ton of material coming out. Yeah. I wonder how much of it is just held up by the trees across the way because it's leaning on those trees pretty good.
that you're a little closer. It's real hard now that everything is brown around it. It's harder to see. From this side, you can get a slightly better view of what we're dealing with in terms of not really having anywhere to go. You can see the creek down there behind them, several, several more steps down. It comes from a little waterfall up here, like where our kids can go play. And right here goes over a waterfall, and then it's down below under where he's standing. And then it kind of follows into this ravine and then kind of wiggles around through the rest of our property. It's super pretty, but... I want to wait for the airplane. So I don't miss something. Okay. It's, it's, moving. it's moving a little bit now. From this side, I can see better. Have you had enough camera crew? <laughs> just I, with it? Might be time. Maybe. Okay. All right, YouTube. 237 rounds of 223, 60 rounds of rifled slugs, one axe that's destroyed, a second axe that didn't quite get the job done and still keep my uh, soul from ripping out of my chest out of fear. So uh, we decided to tip the scales. So don't try this at home. It can be dangerous. Uh, some of the stuff looks a lot more dangerous on TV on YouTube than it does in real life because we take a lot of precautions you guys don't see. I'm not even going to go through them because I don't want to tell you guys how to do it. You can figure it out all on your own. Here we go. Let's hope I hit it on the first round. This street. Back here, he's safe. Chickens are way over. We're good. Safety's on. Scared the chickens pretty good. <laughs> was it loud? I thought it's it was like, loud. It's like fireworks loud. Yeah, fireworks loud. Uh, my target was indicated properly. Was. That's true. So now we get to go review the damage. We'll come right back. Okay. All right, guys. So as you can see, the tree continues to be victorious, and it's kind of starting to tick me off. <laughs> I figured that would take it down. But evidently, that wasn't enough power to finish the job. Can you walk down there? Come over here so they can see the angle. You can really tell how much of the tree is missing. And I'm sure that the tree that it's tangled up with up top is kind of making it worse. You're going to mm -hmm. have to zoom for the people at home there. The chickens jumped. It was hilarious. They did. I mean, I don't really know what, what else they should do. There's a lot of the missing. Well, I zoomed a lot. So yeah, there's not much material there. There is a few inches. So the only thing I have left in my arsenal of success is uh, a bigger noise. And uh, oh look, over what? there on the ground. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there's some product evidence. Yeah, right. Well, guys, I think we've lost our light for today. So unfortunately for you and me and, and me and 
my poor wife <laughs> and the chickens and the cat. This thing is still not down. In one of these years, we will. The problem is it's got to the point now where it's so dangerous, we really got to take care of it. And with all the rain, we can't just drive a truck over here and tip it over. I bet we could drive it and just pull it over with a truck easily. Yeah, if we could um, get up here. The trouble is it's like really slick and it just keeps raining. Every couple of days we get half a day of rain and it's just enough that you can't get out here to walk, let alone try to drive a vehicle back here. Even the tractor I think would be slipping. Mm -hmm. So, and from a arborist perspective, pulling trees down is not a smart idea. That's what they've all told me. So I guess I'll listen to them now that I've gotten in too deep. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here's to life. Signing out for today. We'll be back with more. Go ahead. 239 rounds plus. <laughs> 60. <laughs> Not that we're counting. That should be it. No more soup for you! <laughs> Is it off? No. What? Okay. Due to overwhelming budget constraints, <laughs> I can't waste any more ammo at this stage of the game um, because I, ne I need to save some rounds to ignite my other targets. So that's probably what we're gonna do, but we're losing enough light that uh, I, I honestly, there is no more soup for you guys today. Stay tuned. YouTube is Brian Phillips, still fighting this tree. Uh, we tried all sorts of things, 220 or 237 rounds of 223. Then later we did 60 rounds of rifled slugs, which hurt my arm a lot. Then we broke one ax. Then we got another ax and it didn't seem to do any better. And uh, then we tried to bloat it up. That didn't work. <laughs> well and you started with the chainsaw. And I started with the chainsaw, guys. It wasn't yeah. even on film. No. Then, then we shot it another 30 times just because we were mad at it. <laughs> Excuse me, 29 more times. <laughs> so 200, 267 rounds of 223 has not done the trick. Neither has the 60 rifle, 60 12 gauge rifled slugs. So we're going to take it up a notch. 7.62 by 54R our rim. We're going to try that right now. And we're just going to go ahead and uh, we're going to see if we can't get her done. This is a, uh, you guys may be familiar with the most we got. This one's been sporterized, so it's a little bit different. <laughs> so anyway, guys, we're going to get here in protection going. And then we're going to uh, punish this tree a little bit. This dead tree, we're going to try to get it to fall finally and not die doing it. Yep. And then uh, my shoulder's going to be nice and sore because this gun's got a little bit of power.
You want more? So we'll pause it while we reload. Yep. You want to come over my shoulder so you can see it? I will. I'm zoomed in. Man, it's just moved so much material out of there. I can see it smoking. It's cool. Holy crap! <laughs> that is awesome! Yes, and it didn't kill the two trees! <laughs> I knew it! The most in the god wins! The oh. oldest, crappiest thing I own! <laughs> oh, yes! The hundred dollar gun! I should have been on the hill so I could oh, have that is so cool. seen it. Let's go look at the damage, guys. Well, hold on. I have to film the camera crew shooting something. Oh, geez. Okay, it's loaded. Did it ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay, everybody shoot. at home, thank you for enduring. You'll notice that my tree fell straight up. So it's like another tree. Well, I'll probably have to cut it down again. All right, just shoot the top of the stump, tuck it in tight. Okay, get your cheek all the way on the rest. That thing's got a lot of kick. What am I shooting? You're shooting the top of the stump. It's very accurate. Shoot that little piece off the edge. You can do it. It didn't go. Uh oh. <laughs> Open it. Oh, because there's already a spent round in there. Oh, I did that slow, guys. That's not good usually. Okay, pull that back so it runs into this thing. This is why you don't use 100 year old guns, guys. Yeah, exactly. Hold on. I'll get it. I'll get it loaded oh, for you, camera crew. You get it? Oh, no, no, no. All the way up. All the way up and then down. All right. Hold on. I don't want to do it wrong. I know. I don't want you to do it wrong either. Just hold it. Okay. It's in the chamber now. Okay. It's just hard. Am I leaving my cheek on You that? have to get your cheek on it tight. Try to shoot that little piece right there. That little chunk that's sticking up to the top left. Okay. You can do it. Whoa. That sounds even more crazy up here. Awesome. Nothing like chick shooting guns. All right, guys. The tree's down. Now that we have that round spent, we can go ahead and get our gun safe, and then we'll go ahead and take a closer look together. Okay. You've earned it. Okay, folks. So we had to get things laid down. A lot of off-camera time. That's what most people use to cut down their trees, a chainsaw. That's a still MS-250. We really like that chainsaw, but that is awesome. It worked almost exactly the way I wanted. The only problem is it's down in the ditch, but that's actually okay because now I can I can get in and try to cut these branches down. I don't have to worry about them falling and killing me um, because that tree was big. And you can see what my plan was now that you watched it fall is I wanted this. I wanted it to slide down and we ultimately did. Jeez, look at the power and energy. It displaced all that mud and stuff. Now I can come up here and piece this up. That is so cool. I can get a shorter ladder to get this if I want, and I can do it in a relatively safe way. We're still kind of bound up in that tree up there, but I can live with that. Um, these two branches are much more manageably located on the ground. This is stuff we, we kind of cut down from previous seasons, and we thought it'd be smart to try to burn it down here. That's a chunk of concrete from when we were pouring. So sorry about the sun, folks, but that was pretty cool. I'm really glad it finally went down. 
the way we expected that's one of the rifled slugs and then this is what my beautiful wife was supposed to be hitting she didn't hit that unfortunately here's one of the 223 rounds and then um yeah i was hoping to see one of the mosin rounds for you guys the 762 by 39 r's or excuse me 762 by 54 r's i just don't see any but that was uh pretty powerful we didn't have much of this left all right do you want to do an enclosing so in closing guys um that tree was scary and you can see it's about waist high i mean it's not a humongous tree but it's just really tall and you can see this is this is what i was standing on here i don't know if you could see in the previous videos but i was standing on a loose log basically and there's a straight down fall right here and a straight down fall essentially right here this is just hillside that this, slid down yeah it's, so it's you, it's all precarious and awkward yep, exactly and the escape route is up what would be an otherwise muddy hill and i've kind of worked a sort of path here so that thing is big it's still going to be challenging but i need 15 foot chunks for my bridge down the way so we're going to cut off 15 foot piece and then hopefully that's manageable enough to pull out with uh straps and uh, ropes and things like this we'll pull it up the side and then i can use that to complete my bridge and then the next section we'll have to limb up and then take 15 foot chunk from that. I believe we'll probably get at least two of them right here. And then this one, we'll probably get another one. That one's too bendy. I think it's just gonna basically be firewood. Mm -hmm. So it's always a good feeling when you have a giant pain in the butt project come together. This, I don't know what we'll do. Maybe we'll go ahead and cut it off a little bit lower and uh, just take a little bit of firewood off of that. Yeah. But we really appreciate you guys watching and enduring pain and suffering um, but it just goes to show you, if you can't do it with a chainsaw and you're too cheap to hire somebody <laughs> and you don't want to die doing it, it's possible you might be able to shoot it down with a gun if it's legal and safe. So anyway, this is not a how-to video. <laughs> don't blame me if you do something stupid uh, because this was stupid enough for both of us. Thanks for watching.